On March 1, 1951, only 30 minutes before midnight, an unexpected geologic disaster struck a remote section of Lake City in California. All of a sudden, and without warning, a section of marshy meadow exploded upwards, sending a plume of debris rapidly to an altitude of 10,000 feet. As a loud roar became audible, the ground began to shake almost like an earthquake, except it was a bit weaker and more sustained. Those who looked outside to investigate what had occurred expected to find evidence of a plane crash or some weather phenomenon, but instead saw a plume of gases rapidly rising in the distance which were illuminated by street lights, appearing almost like those seen during a volcanic eruption. In the following minutes, pea-sized pellets of frozen particles rained down on the town at large, falling on areas up to 4.5 miles or 7.24 kilometers away. Activity then intensified once again, causing more fine rock particles to be ejected upwards and hurling car-sized boulders of rock several hundred feet. As the phenomena weakened over the next seven hours, the sun finally rose, and those who went closer to investigate saw a billowing plume of rising gases, which seemingly originated from not one, but multiple several hundred foot wide craters in the ground. By the time this strange activity ended 100 hours later, the scope of destruction was revealed. While thankfully no deaths occurred and no animals were lost, a total of 6 million cubic feet or 169,900 cubic meters of previously harder rock and mud had been scattered across the landscape, all of which was still scaldingly hot at the time. As a result, 14.7 acres of land were ruined as it had been smothered in up to 15 feet thick of mud. So, what exactly happened on that day? Although mud volcanoes were involved in these explosions, there was no true volcanic eruption involved as this section of California has not seen any form of volcanism in more than 10 million years. The ground truly just did explode at an area previously known to have several small hot springs and bubbling mud pots. What had occurred was an uncommon phenomenon known as a hydrothermal explosion, which is essentially a non-volcanic powerful steam explosion. Per a direct quote from the U.S. Geological Survey, hydrothermal explosions are violent and dramatic events resulting in the rapid ejection of boiling water, steam, mud, and rock fragments. Hydrothermal explosions can occur where shallow interconnected reservoirs of fluids of temperatures at or near the boiling point underlie thermal fields. These fluids can rapidly transition to steam if the pressure suddenly drops. Since vapor molecules take up much more space than liquid molecules, the transition to steam results in significant expansion and blows apart surrounding rocks and ejects debris. Typically, hydrothermal explosions are a phenomena often associated with large volcanic calderas such as Okatana in New Zealand or Yellowstone in Wyoming. There, deep magma is the source of the energy which heats hydrothermal water to near boiling temperatures which, in the case of Yellowstone, results in the creation of at least a 100-meter or 328-foot-wide crater, an average of once every 200 to 900 years. However, not all hot springs are volcanic in origin, as sometimes groundwater is able to reach near boiling temperatures by simply traveling deep into our planet's crust and then rising upwards once heated. This typically occurs via an increase in temperature of 13.7 degrees Fahrenheit for every 1,000 feet deeper you go into the crust. In other words, for water to boil, all it needs to do is reach a depth of about 11,750 feet. In the case of what are today known as the Lake City Hot Springs, this likely occurred as water migrated along a weak point generated by the 32 degree dipping Surprise Valley Normal Fault. However, what occurred in terms of the geologic record near Lake City appears to point towards the explosion being a one-off event with no prior geologic evidence of similar explosions occurring in the same location. It was only due to this surprising phenomena that scientists were able to identify the existence of even larger hydrothermal explosion craters in Yellowstone National Park with ejecto deposits that look like this.